So y'all, the kids are going vegan. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. So welcome to another food for thought, y'all. So I'm super excited. So um, I'm gonna get to like the big news in just a minute, but I want to update you guys obviously on what's going on. So. Kearney Vegan was here for about a week and we got a lot of work done in the house. I don't know if you can see kind of around me, if you can look, you can see that the floor, the, this floor didn't exist about a week ago. It was actually covered with some old like linoleum tiles and we pulled those tiles up and the floor was really nasty and covered with glue and spent a lot of time like getting that off, like peeling it off, scraping it off, and then finally went and got some industrial sanders and sanded the floor. And you know, it still looks, you know, it's pretty rough looking, but it looks, it looks good for me. It's good for me. It's a, it's a huge improvement in the space. I don't know. Um, this is not a room that I've ever uh, broadcast from before because it was always just like something ugly but now I'm like looking around and it's this really b beautiful room you can see there's like this cool cabinet that's built into the walls and the house is you know it's about hundred and twenty years old so all of this stuff is just ancient and it's really cool to be exposing it to the world one thing really cool that we look down on the floor and there's all these like cool there's like this parquet tile around the border of the floor and there were some tiles that were missing and I'm, you know, we actually went and got a piece of oak and a hand cut all these little, <coughs> all these little tiles. We hand cut all these little tiles. So, um, you know, it's like, you can tell that like, you can tell I did it. It's not perfect. It's not perfection or anything like that. But, um, if you go to my Instagram, you can see pictures of that stuff. Um, and my, uh, the Instagram is alt space Detroit. So yeah. So check that out. Um, so exciting. Kearney got in, there was a few issues with Kearney leaving. He found out, well, first of all, I was going to drive. I was originally going to pick up Kearney at the, um, train station and I thought I was picking him up at the train station in Detroit turns out I was supposed to be picking him up at the train station in Windsor which meant I was gonna have to go through that tunnel and you guys know the last time I went to Canada I ended up getting stopped at the border I got busted I actually ended up spending like an hour more an out like an hour and a half in detention and got harassed and got kind of felt really threatened in that space anyway so you can go back and watch I'll maybe post a link to that video somewhere else. I, I know I keep promising to post links to stuff and then I don't post them, but I will get to that stuff eventually. Anyway, so um, I didn't pick up Kearney. Getting back to Windsor, I was gonna take him and I was gonna take a long time, but it turned out I had rehearsal in the afternoon and the last thing that I wanted was to be late for rehearsal because I was stuck in detention at immigration at the border trying to get back into the United States. So Kearney was gonna just, you know, take a cab and he couldn't find a driver to take him into Windsor. And I'm guessing it's because it has become such a hassle to get back into the United States unless you're like, unless you're going on vacation and you're giving them like the name of the hotel that you stayed in, they don't want you crossing that border. They don't want us going back across the border. So that's something I'm gonna get more deep into the investigation of the crossing of the border soon. So Kearney almost missed his train, turned out, he called one of the cab companies, they came, they took him, he made it probably just in time. His train was at nine, the cab didn't get here until like 8.20 and fortunately he didn't get held up trying to cross the border into Canada. So Kearney, it was great having you here. Thank you so much for all the time and energy that you put into these projects. We didn't get the raids beds put in, but that's another story. So um, moving on, but anyway, thanks Kearney and all that stuff. So my husband is coming this weekend. So, you know, maybe we'll do some vlogging while Chris is here, but he's bringing Jack and Jack is gonna be here for the rest of the summer, which is really, really exciting. And then I'm gonna be heading back to New York City to do some work with the theater company and hopefully remount Ready, Set, Go Race. But Chris is gonna be here with Jack and maybe he's gonna do some projects in the house too. 
So, um, we have a couple of uh, folks coming into residency here at Altspace and you guys are gonna meet them. They're actually some theater folks that I've been collaborating with for about a year now. I actually started collaborating with them around this time last year and things have gone well. One of the collaborators is actually in this production of Hamlet that I'm doing with Shakespeare in Detroit. He's gonna be playing Horatio, I'm playing the dead Hamlet. Um, I'll include some information on that in the description box below. The wonderful thing about having two new people in residence, first of all, having some artistic collaborators, first of all, having some people who can kind of also work on alt space and developing this space as well. Um, one of the folks is interested in making her own cleaning products, which is really, really awesome. So maybe we'll do some tutorials on how to make, you know, bio, you know, um, you know, environmentally friendly cleaning products yourself and save money on that. Um, also going to be getting a hand washer, a hand clothes washer. So that's something I'm looking forward to um, figuring out how that works. So we'll probably be doing a video on the hand clothes washer. Anyway, Kate and Miles, they're super, super, super folks and you guys are going to be meeting them after Chris leaves. Wonderful thing about, other wonderful thing about that is that they're gonna be going vegan. So um, I think they're both at this point vegetarian. Uh, I don't think that they consume animal flesh, but I do believe that dairy products, um, Kate was saying that butter is something that's a really big part of her life. But for the time that they're in residence, they're going to be going vegan. Which brings me to the last part of this video. So you guys know we had the group of 10 students and two instructors, well actually an instructor and a graduate assistant, who were here at Altspace from the 5th of June, really the 4th of June, through like the 18th of June, right? So just a couple of weeks ago, the, the, they were here, um, they, just, they just left, right? So I started getting text first. Um, there was the conversation that I had with Sydney, who you guys met, I'll link to the video of Sydney. Sydney was, you know, really considering going vegan. And of course, then there was Alana who was guesting on the broadcast. She actually sat next to me and talked to you guys, had a great conversation with Kearney about veganism. Ilana sent me a text saying that she was working on going vegan. She's working on it. She's vegetarian right now and really working on getting cheese out of her diet. She explained, as I mentioned in a previous video, that she is French and culturally cheese is a big part of French culture. I really want to talk to um, I really want to talk to Marine about this, um, a privileged vegan, because Marine is also French, and I wonder if um, she might have something to say about French culture and cheese and how she, if she also had some difficulty going vegan because of the fact that cheese is such a huge part of the French meal. So Ilana, working on getting cheese out of her diet, working on going vegan, I get another text from another student saying, I am really gonna keep, I'm still trying this vegan thing and wanted to know what one of the alternative products, it was the, actually the Beyond Meat product that was really, really popular when the kids were here. We did a barbecue and they were grilling those instead of, you know, red, regular, you know, um, animal flesh burgers and they really enjoyed them. So. I was really excited. So that was three of the youth who were here strongly leaning now towards veganism. We might get three new vegans out of it. And I think out of 10 students to have three of them thinking about converting to veganism, I think it's a pretty good record if you ask me, not to toot my own horn, but I think it's a really, really cool, which gets me excited about the, pro pro uh, the project, the Altspace project in general, having it be a vegan space. Uh, even though there's a risk of, you know, losing um, opportunities because groups may not want to come because they would have to go vegan. I have not had a case so far where a group 
did not want to come because they would have to be vegan for the time that they were here. And now I'm seeing that people are actually thinking about converting to veganism because of their contact with the space. There's obviously Joanne, who's my neighbor, who was thinking about going vegan, and now that is becoming part of her life because she's able to associate with the space. Joanne actually came to my door, knocked on my door, because apparently there is a vegan makeup pop-up happening. We gotta go over there. I'm gonna be taking you over there. Ethan, of course, the original converted one uh, from the series Convertible, has been vegan now for almost a year since starting working with the project and continues to be vegan. So I'm pretty proud of the track record that Altspace has so far. You know, it's maybe one at a time, maybe it's not at the rate that people would like to see, but I think definitely having a space that is centered around the principles of veganism and the principles of sustainability have gotten into people's minds that this might be something that they want to give some serious thought to. <sighs> that was so much, but that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.